Welcome back to this Pixel Piracy game, and this time we're going to play through a little bit more, dig in deep to what this game can actually bring. I had excellent feedback from all of you guys, and thank you so much for all you new subscribers and all the comments and feedback you gave me. It's been really, really great to achieve that much positive feedback. And something I took in from it, and took on board from it, is that people seem to lack good English gameplays and let's plays of this. So I thought, well, let's make that happen. So let's start by making a new game in this pixel piracy and let's put a goal for something crazy. Let's create the Black Pearl or, well, our own little version of Black Pearl and build a big pirate ship. So we will be doing everything we can, exploring islands and going through items as we discover them as we go along. So please subscribe and tag along in this series. Please feel free to give comments and feedback in the sections. And if you see me missing something or think I'm doing something completely up the wrong side, just let me know. Please feel free to comment, uh, even if it's you thinking I'm doing a really, really bad job. Feel free to comment. I love having feedback. So let's not talk too much here. Let's get in on this. So this is going to be Pixel Piracy, the quest for the Black Pearl. Yes, we've stolen that from the parts of the Caribbean. So, my name, Viper Bane, of course. And let's call it the Black Pearl World. And I think we should continue with Princess Mode as we did in the key giveaway the alpha play that you saw earlier and where most of you subscribers are from. I'm going to do this gameplay, because it's not really separated into days and nights and have a good cycle like in Minecraft, so I'm going to play each section as I discover them and divide them up into episodes so they are easier chunks for you to read and well, read, research, view and give comments on, and also for me to figure out what's happening as I go along. This game is still in development, which means that there might be new things added constantly that may change certain aspects and battle sequences. So I will be trying to keep as updated as possible on them. So, with further ado... So, let's get started with Pixel Piracy, the quest for Black Pearl. And as always, when we begin, you get to answer these three questions. I kind of liked having monsters, because that means there's more loot and so a little bit to plunder. And the plague that killed many innocents. Uh, rare comments and bad omens. Long dangerous nights. Would we really dare to do that? Yeah, let's go for that so we have a little bit of variety. And da 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 da. 15 extra learning points. Could always be good. Do you think we should have the cavalry sailor so that we can quickly clean, have the captain of the ship clean out the poop and everything? Yeah, let's do that. Let's have a little bit of extra trading points in the beginning so we can up something. And we go for a male captain. Yeah, I think that looks good. So, let's get into the, in the game. Now, if you've tagged along previously, you know how you have to set this up. In the beginning, you must create your own ship, and you get to build your own ship from this plunder that you make. You can either buy these wood blocks, or you can uh, obtain them by sinking other ships. So you, you're pretty much picking up the debris floating on the surface. So let's get ready to go out and plunder. Uh, be careful if you're building toward the right, because there's a maximum end here where it suddenly stops. And I think it is uh, intentional so that you can build your ship this way. And that way you will not collide with an island or another ship if there is something like that. So I usually build all the way out to the max, but I leave that last dot for the half wood block so I can get a little bit more of a slanting curve coming up. But our quest here is of course to build the black pearl, or, well, what we would conceive the black pearl to be with these blocks. Let's put some food down. I did a mistake last time of not putting food down and they... well... My crew died. I was a bad captain. Alright, so hull, decoration, food, and we have nothing miscellaneous. So, 
we need to head back and go to the tavern, I think. Well, let's actually head all the way over to the library so we can learn how to clean up the poop because a messy ship will sink the morale like nobody's business. Now, question is, should I let the captain know these skills? Um, they still haven't fixed it, or if it is intentional, every time you pass by the tavern, the captain seems to stop and pick up a little bit of a bottle of rum. Uh, probably the reason why the rum is gone, is he's always picking it up. Alright, so, I always go for the first cleaning, so get one of them. And then we'll head back to the tavern, because now we know we have 451 gold. And if we're lucky, we can hire two crewmates, shipmates, scallywags, good for nothings. So, let's see. It's a brutal looking sword I am carrying. Actually, it looks like it has blood on it. Oh, it wasn't me. <laughs> I was looking in the wrong picture. So, we have. 451 so if I'm taking the one for 250 I need to buy something for 201 be able to do math in head could be quite good here but it doesn't seem that there are offers enough for this so let's buy something as expensive as possible instead that means that we should have theoretically uh, as good as possible from the ground up might always might also be a little bit more expensive so we have Eloise Guerin, or Guerin. He was a smuggler with a stat value of 72, but cost 444. We have Jeremy Harris, that was a peer. I have no idea what a peer is, but the stat value is 94, so that looks like it's a more, more hard hitting fella. Uh, we have 412 here for 106, and a surveyor that can always be good. Hopefully we will not... Oh! We have the developer here, but unfortunately I can't afford him. Sacker Kingham. He was Vitali Kirpo. Uh, Vitali Kirpo, for those of you who have missed that out, is the developer of this game. So, the developer is uh, Vitali Kirpo, and the uh, producer of the game is Alexander Poiski. They are fantastic people, and I absolutely love their humor, what they put into this game. But let's hire this Franklin Colangelo, and he was a surveyor for 412, and we have 39 coins left, that is absolutely nothing. So, we need to get out and plunder and pilfer and pillage really quickly. And we should obviously go in on the crew and see Franklin Colangelo, he only has two training points. So I started with a few extra trading points as per the selection in the beginning. So I think we'll teach the captain, that's me, how to clean up the poop. Probably not the most exciting things, but uh, with a little bit of luck. Our vitality is very, very low, so let's put the vitality up so we're not too bad off. So I think that should be good enough to start off with. And Franklin could use a vitality boost. And uh, we got a little bit more extra there. Extra HP regen. And da -da -da -da. yeah, luck is always good to have in your pirate. So our crew is up and ready to go. Now that's the scallywags. Alright, so our mission is to set out and conquer the known world, which isn't that big. But we shall be um, plundering, pilfering, pillaging, and in the meantime, aim to construct our very own uh, Black Pearl, a mighty ship that everybody fears. Apparently leaves no survivors, yet somehow the rumor persists. So, we're moving forward with our massive crew. Yes, I agree completely with that. So at the moment I think this sailing trip is where they do level up a little bit and I haven't really figured out exactly if this their duties they do on board the ship and their roles that will make them level up. But you gain experience when you're traveling to and from points and if you can avoid having to do battle you can probably level up your character a little bit 
as it is in this release. Be careful in the future because they might nerf or tweak that a little bit so it's more the battles or the actions or interactions that will give you advancements of levels on your you know, shipmates. So, we need to attack. Absolutely. Oh, that definitely looks like a good for nothing person. I have no idea who he is. It's Quinton Jewett, and he has a lot of hit points. But it seems that we are winning. Oh. And I keep forgetting to mention this, but in order to move your captain, you left click. And in order to move your crewmate, you right click. Do remember that your captain is the one that can do actions, so move him to an object you think is looking interesting and click on this button here. And we exploded something, and it seems that we got a lot of coins. I'm trying to be careful here, I'm not sure if you can drown anymore. But these guys cannot swim, so please be careful where you click and do not send them up, up to death. Do remember that after every ship has been conquered, to click the action plunder and plunder the enemy ship from a safe location, which means that you do this. So you're seeing them, and we got 100 gold and probably a few uh, wood pieces. That was a quick battle, so let's move on and get a few more quick battles, because I just want to get this started before I round this first episode off, and then I'll get ready to record the more episodes for the future and listen to your feedbacks and research a little bit more but for the time being let's focus a little bit on battle and see what we can do i do like this we have plenty of ships to choose from so let's go and attack something the options is of course yours you can do a little bit of difficulty on your own here so if you choose to not save it will not ask you to save for a little while and that can increase kind of a voluntary increase of difficult level. But let's get in on the battle here. And this is a hostile encounter. So it's not a neutral one. There we go. Captain goes first. You can only lead from the front. And the battles, as far as I can tell, they do take the information from your character sheet, so you should pay attention on leveling your characters up. Yeah. Here we go. Well, that's just get it back. Wow, that must have hurt a lot. No! He killed my captain! How could this happen? Oh dear. I will see if I can resurrect him, but he... Oh no! He killed me completely. Young Gallipo. And he had two hit points left. Well, there you see. You could make use of... Upgrading your characters. So let's do a reload here and it will put you back on your last save Before you do your action. So I'm gonna pause here and go in on making the crew because we have a few more training points available If you go in on passive equip there are items you can equip and they may or may not require some training points obviously captain here and Take less damage and 25% speed reduction. I think plate armor I would not advise anyone on the ship to use a plate armor. You would sink like a stone. So let's use these training points to up this. Let's increase the strength a few bits. I'm not sure if we're going to do enough damage on that. But the hit point might as well go up. And Franklin, he has three points available. So let's move the um, vitality up a little bit more. So we're going back out. And we're going to see what we can attack. So we had it already the last one here. So this will be saved if you should fail. So you have to reset yourself. You just press the R key should your captain die. So let's sail again and see if we can conquer him. And I'll do this battle, win or lose, and then we'll round off this episode. So save the game and head on forward. Also, I've noticed that if you put your crew toward the front end of your ship, they are more prepared to attack, but be careful because they might wander off too soon. So here we go. Both of them are ready. Let's engage them. Uh, right and left click. And Guillermo Kent. I think this guy was called. Let's see. Come on, guys. You can win. 
Uh, so far it's looking good. He doesn't look to be as tough as the other one. It sounds kind of cowardly, but we need to win and our idea is to actually conquer the Seven Seas. So, we got some items. And we can send our crewmen home. And we're gonna sink this ship. I said remember to do that and do walk back and forth with your captain so you make sure you pick up your items. Then uh, I think only your captain requires to be at your home boat before you sink the ship, but please be nice to your crewmates and actually send them home as well. So sink the ship. And we got wood blocks and everything. You can see that down in the right corner and 110 gold. So we have quite a lot of money at the moment. And I will be sending the ship back to the known town. And when you have to travel like this, you see, it will take a little bit longer. So distance is three to the destination now. But we're heading home. And this is as good time as any to round off this episode, because we're already some 15 minutes in. So uh, thank you for watching. And please hit subscribe, like, comment, share. And do keep an eye on this channel, because we might be lucky to get some more keys in the future to share out amongst you fine people. And for those of you who have already won, uh, was, uh, I hope that you have made good use of them. So, let's head on to the island and round off this episode now. My name is Viper Payne. Until next time, 